Honestly, I was very nervous. I was like, can you poop in a trailer bathroom? Turns out you can. Hi, welcome back to the vlog. <laughs> I honestly was like, this is too good of an opportunity to not start the vlog like this because it's truly shocking. So I just finished filming an IGTV because I just do this really fun thing. I feel like once a year and it's a time where I torture myself and try and do a Halloween makeup look. I'm gonna be honest though, I'm pretty happy with it. Anyways, I've got Halloween press-ons on. I've got a Halloween look happening. It's, it's, it's all happening, it's all happening. So today is Saturday and Jeremy and I are about to film a new episode of the podcast. I'm debating on whether whether I should just keep this on for the episode. But I feel like if it was going up on the week of actual Halloween, it'd be more appropriate. But I do think that I should probably go back to looking regular. It's the blood drips. It's definitely the blood drips that's too much, the lip too much. So I'm going to remove, I think I also ended up using a little bit of craft glitter opposed to makeup glitter. And I'm not sure if there's a difference, but I feel like there might be. So I am going to take that off my eyes so I don't give myself some kind of eye infection because I'm going back on to set all next week. So I figured that I would bring you guys along on um, one of my days this week We can do a trailer tour and again, I know I mentioned this in the last vlog I have to do that super fucking annoying influencer thing where you have to be like It's a secret, I can't tell you what it is But I'm thinking that I'm gonna film a vlog and then just not release it until next year I feel like the world is kind of a shit show right now So it's gonna be really interesting to like watch a vlog that's a year old a year later I feel like that can be really fun I saw Mr. Beast do something similar where he made a video for himself five years ago and then he scheduled it to go live five years later So I don't think I want to commit to something that intense and long term But I feel like from 2020 to 2021 is not that crazy So I think I will do a day where I just vlog everything and show you guys the full behind the scenes of what I'm filming But for now we'll have to settle for the trailer tour and I'm gonna go take this lip off and this glitter off And I just just saw this. It's a lot. It's a lot I've been wearing crazy makeup on set this week if you follow me on Instagram you've seen some sneak peeks of the hair and the makeup and it is no it is next level and my skin not super happy about it definitely need to do like some kind of clarifying mask I feel like tonight I do have to shoot today and tomorrow and then back on set on Monday I was really hoping to like give my skin a break but I don't think that's gonna be a case also here is the disaster that is my uh, filming space after doing a makeup tutorial very nice very nice I ended up using mostly the morphe James Charles palette some NYX products Products, a Lancome lipstick, Tarte concealer for the base, and then, ooh, didn't end up using these, but love them. They are the Urban Decay Heavy Metal Metallic Liners. So fun. So, 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 so fun. And then, oh my god, here is the, like, craft glitter that's currently on my eyelid, and so I think that I should probably take that off right now. Hi, guys. It is Sunday, and yesterday I died. I straight up died on the couch for the entire night, and I died. So we didn't do the podcast yesterday, and we're about to do it now, but I also just wanted to give you guys an update. I'm also gonna try and sit in the meantime. Okay. I had a DIY plan to kick off Halloween because like I'm gonna be on set all week this week. So today was really my only filming day. And so I scrambled to put something together and it's just not where I wanted to be. So unfortunately because of timing of filming, the Halloween series won't be super long, but I'm hoping to get in two like really solid quality Halloween videos. So this Sunday I'm going to take a break, but I wrap on Friday, so I will be back the following Sunday with the first video of the Halloween series. And I've got some costume supplies behind me if you want to take a stab at what some of the costumes are. Here's a little sneak peek. It's actually the makings of two costumes, so I'm sure it's going to be very confusing just looking at it like this. Let me know if you have any guesses, and also let me know if there's any Halloween costume requests that you do want to see, um, because by the time this vlog goes up, I'll definitely have time to read all the comments and get some inspiration. Hi guys, it is later now and uh, we are winding down for the night. I need to put you guys on my favorite show of 2020. Ted Lasso is the best show that I have seen all year and you guys have to watch it. I'm also watching The Boys right now. A new episode just came out so we're about to watch episode seven of season two of The Boys. And oh good, penis level. <laughs> 
I'm almost done ratchet and I just started the Great British Bake Off the Great British Baking Show Great British Bake Off I think which has been just like my background noise for all of today and it's been so good also I posted an IGTV um, yesterday of my experience getting a cortisone injection for two cystic spots I had right here and right here and it was absolutely in no way shape or form encouraging others to go and do that if they get a pimple I really just wanted to share my experience because the first time that I've ever done that and honestly I had never heard about it so I wanted to be super transparent about pain level and price and just the overall experience so needle warning the IGTV does include the actual footage of the needle going into the two cystic spots that I had but they're completely gone and basically what it is obviously talk to your dermatologist talk to your doctor before diving into this to see if it's right for you but it's basically a tiny tiny bit of steroid to reduce the inflammation of a super swollen cystic spot and that's what I had literally right here and right here it was like symmetry to a T in the worst way I've just been wearing makeup for like 18 hours a day all week and I've got another week of it so I wanted to give it a shot at the recommendation of my makeup artist and she referred me to a dermatologist who had incredible reviews and I had an A plus experience and I honestly was so shocked at how negative a lot of the comments were like not only is this my choice because it's my face and honestly me going through the injection and having a needle put into my face but I was just so shocked at how negative people were like I can't even imagine how much people get if they were to want to get a nose job or a boob job or filler in their face do what you want to do it's your body oh my god I literally was shocked I was so shocked and I feel like it's probably not viewers who are like you guys but yeah was genuinely so surprised I have no plans on getting any work done of any sort but now I'm like damn no wonder people hide it so intensely from making it public because you get roasted you get totally roasted and it's so unfair do what you want to do it's your body it's your choice and I'm gonna take that sh to the grave oh nothing like some nice fluorescent lighting at 5 30 in the morning hi guys good morning it is Monday we are back on set it is so goddamn early oh my god my alarm went off and I could have slept another three hours for sure but I promised you guys a trailer tour and I've been gone for the weekend so my trailer is super clean right now it's not that clean it's just like more clean than it was compared to on Friday after being here for a week so let me give you a tour so being on set essentially I think COVID is actually the main reason why I have a giant ass trailer so typically being on set especially for hair and makeup you're typically in like like a group area there's like a designated hair and makeup room where everyone that's like on cast would go and do hair and makeup like all together but with COVID this year everyone's pretty separate so I think I can thank COVID for this trailer I'm not entirely sure anyways boiled as book because this genuinely is nicer than most of the apartments that I lived in in Toronto when I was in university it's huge genuinely huge people could live here for sure oh no the lights are doing that thing they're doing that thing Oh no, okay, well just bear with me. So here is the door and you walk in and the kitchen is directly across I have got a basically full-size fridge like this thing is huge Mostly just have like some drinks and a few little snackies some takeout probably should have thrown that out And I also have a whole ass freezer haven't used that at all But do have it a microwave and I just brought my own kettle But you've got shelving and I've got some other snacks and stuff and like a whole ass sink I don't know why I'm surprised. I guess I just don't really know anything about trailers and like how running water works, uh, but very impressed by that. And then there's a little mini table here and I have flowers in my trailer, so pretty. Oh my God, so nice. And also they gifted me that Knob Creek whiskey, by the way, that's not just in here for my enjoyment on break. <laughs> and then I have this giant couch, which is very comfy. I have been taking naps on breaks, which has been very nice. I just brought the blanket and pillow from home. You guys saw that in my packing video. And then we've got a little Little mirror hello I look like ass a massive TV literally so huge oh my god randomly hello good morning to you all so here is the view from the couch area and you walk left when you come in we've got some art a little bench here and there is a full-size mirror right here and this is the hair and makeup station which has been so much fun I definitely miss being around people because I feel like normally the hair and makeup portion of the day is just like so chatty and fun and I love my hair and makeup artist so it's been really good and then got a full-ass bathroom y'all oh my god okay hang on yes okay 
toilet. Honestly, I was very nervous. I was like, can you poop in a trailer bathroom? Turns out you can. Very impressive. <laughs> and then a sink, another mirror, and a full shower. So impressive. So impressive. Oh my god. And then there's another couch behind the makeup area, and this looks like a living animal. Like, what is going on? These are all my ponytail extensions. Again, I just brought all of my hair options so that we had lots to work with. I guess this is where they live now. So that is pretty much the trailer and where I've been spending a lot of my time. Again, being on set with COVID is very, very different. Obviously, we have to take so many precautions. It's a big cast and it's a big crew. Everyone needs to be as safe as they can and look out for each other and protect each other. It's been an experience for sure. It's gonna be so crazy when this goes live to look back and like know that it was during a pandemic. And that's me being optimistic, being like, hopefully when this goes live, the pandemic is over. But it is such a crazy like moment in time to like capture. Maybe that's just me being a little delusional at 5.30 a.m. I don't know. Um, hi completely forgot to vlog. My battery is a little low, so I was like, okay, we're not gonna survive a time lapse, so I'll just do a check-in afterwards. Here is the hair and makeup for today. It's really cute. Hopefully you can see the back of it. I've got some fun little accessories happening today. Makeup is cute. Also, here's an updated skin situation after the cortisone injections. Wow, I know we just talked about this last night, but wow. I also have a bunch of extensions in, so the hair is super long today, and I am low loving it. I have the most insane boots on and I have to show you guys. My feet are dying, but they are stunning. Look at these boots. They're insane. They have like their own Kira Kira effect, I swear. Oh my god. They are highly uncomfortable, but they're so amazing. It's like almost like a glittery fishnet. Oh my god. Look at the sparkle. Look at the sparkle. It's so good. So feet are definitely dying, but so cute. So stunning. This is a look right here. Like having nice ass hair and then this <laughs> <laughs> on the other half. It is lunch break and we halfway through the day. Sir, sir, <laughs> sir. Hello, I miss you today. I miss you so much today. Oh, look at the smile. I miss you so much. Also, we gotta get a little Bubby's footage in here. A little snoogs action, since this vlog hasn't really been at home too, too much. Hi guys, I am home now. Um, I wrapped around 7.30 tonight. A uh, solid 14 hours on set. Honestly, after like the 18 hour day at the very beginning, I feel like I can do anything. 14 hours, piece of cake. Honestly, the hardest part is standing and walking in heels for that long. Those boots that I showed you guys, oh my God. God, will they make an appearance in a photo shoot in the future? Probably. Would I ever wear them for practicality? No. My outfit for tomorrow is also in heels, but they're a little bit smaller and more manageable. So I'm excited for that. I think I'm also wearing jeans, which is really exciting. I haven't had like a very casual look at all for this filming situation. So looking forward to that. I again have a 5.45 a.m. pickup time. So I basically just like come home, shove some some food in my mouth and go to bed and then go back. But I do have Wednesday off so I can catch up on some work and answer emails and go back to like real life. Cause I feel like when I'm working hours like this, I kind of ignore all the other elements of my job. So that's a fun thing that I let myself do and then I have to go back to reality on Wednesdays. Also makeup held out pretty good for the entire day. For this being on since like 6 a.m., this looks pretty good. I'm doing a high pony with hair tomorrow. So definitely not gonna wash her tonight. I always feel like I get home and I look so weird with like out all the hair extensions and the fancy outfit. My lip is gone. Anyways, hope you enjoyed it. There is a new podcast as there is on every Tuesday. And um, I will see you guys on Sunday for a Sunday I want and in the next vlog. Okay, bye guys. Love you.